And then when you develop and then you draw plans, sections of the building. And only after that process are you able to instrumentalize it in a more precise mathematical and scientific way, which means a really three-dimensional computer generated drawing. Plans uh, yes, yes. Plan sections, all sketches relating to it, even details of the building, how glass and still are, are developed by hand. But later on they are obviously we have to implement them in, in modern technology. So we never really building really without the technology. I mean you could, but it would take 500 years. So uh, you, you need it to do it on budget and on time. And uh, that's really sort of the, the, the new way of working. So once upon a time an architect would maybe build a few buildings in their lifetime. Even the famous masters of the 20th century did not build a lot of buildings. Even the most prolific ones like Frank Lloyd Wright or the did not build a lot of buildings. I already am surpassed many of these and many of my clients because modern technology makes it possible. In order to think of a building, I was able to do it and technically realize it in, 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 in a place. But you'll see that these projects are very different. Each one is a different genius walk, each one is a different place, a different idea. Uh, that's, uh, are these all done before? Yes, no, always before. I never started with a physical model at first. Uh, and uh, I, I always hope this beautiful uh, talk from Michelangelo, one of the greatest artists and architects. So he had a nephew, Antonio, who asked him if he wanted to be an architect. And he asked his uncle, Michelangelo, what should I do to be an architect? And, and Michelangelo just wrote three words draw, Antonio, draw. So two times draw, one point, and then Antonio. So that, that's all. Uh, that's all there is to this. Uh, 